So what do I think of the whole Justin Compton muscular development situation? Well, I think that Justin Compton made a mistake as far as I'm concerned as a fan in sitting out the Mr. Olympia, and I'll tell you why. I thought that by placing third at the Arnold Classic, Justin had a huge amount of momentum, a huge amount of interest from the fans, a huge amount of buzz in the press. And I thought he should have capitalized on that, gone to that Mr. Olympia, placed top five or possibly better, and just really enjoyed the hell out of 2015, competitively speaking. However, Justin Compton in different posts and posts that were allegedly attributed to him basically said that he wanted to work on his posing, which again, we know in hindsight that the 2001 Mr. Olympia was awarded to Ronnie Coleman strictly because of posing. We know that that 1991 Mr. Olympia was awarded to Lee Haney strictly on posing because Dorian had him beat. Jay had him beat, but they were still green. They still didn't understand really, or at least it didn't, they didn't really present their physique to the absolute limit against the reigning champion. And that little edge was just enough to keep the champion in place. And so I think Justin Compton is aware of the fact that physique wise, he should have been second at the Arnold Classic. Had he posed like someone like the Blade, he might have won the Arnold Classic. So I think he realized that posing was a very, very important part of his prep. And I think that before just jumping into the Olympia and going through the whole prep, I think he really wanted to focus on posing. And I think that's something really, really cool, especially for the judges. The judges have to really respect the hell out of that. Aside from that, I did read that he wanted to spend some time with his friends and family. He wanted to relax a little bit, give his body a break. That's totally understandable, and not just understandable, it's totally responsible as an IFB pro at that elite level. You don't want to burn yourself out. You don't want to wear yourself out. So he was being very responsible and holding back from doing that Mr. Olympia. Now, did that cost him the contract with muscular development? I wrote an article about it, how I was bummed as a fan. I know that I thought about it. I don't know that I actually wrote about it. I haven't looked at the article. I may, may or may not. I don't know. Um, muscular development probably was weighing the options in the short term versus the long term. In the short term, they were going to lose probably in their estimation some sales, some hits, because Justin Compton, someone that has been you know, heralded as a future Mr. Olympia, someone that did so well at the Arnold Classic not doing the Mr. Olympia, they probably would have been able to sell more magazines had he chosen to do it. But the long term, look at the long term in that, okay, so he's not doing the Mr. Olympia, but what if he just adds some size, just really nails his posing, really gives his body, you know, his joints, his muscles, all that rest, and he comes back next year and he wins in Columbus, and then he goes to the Olympia and he cracks the top five, maybe even cracks the top three. My gosh, could you imagine the magazine sales? Could you imagine the website hits? Could you imagine... Well, apparently they couldn't because they obviously chose the short term versus the long term. So they obviously probably said, well, this guy's not doing the Olympia. You know, it's uh, another seven or probably seven months until the next Arnold Classic. What's this guy, gonna, this guy gonna do for seven months? Probably just nothing, just sit at home and pose in the mirror and eat good food and rest his body and work with his family and hang out with his family, but he's not gonna sell us magazines. And he's not going to sell it. He's not going to get his website hits. So we're going to get rid of him. Even though in seven months he could very well possibly win that Arnold Classic. And then, you know, maybe in, um, you know, a year win the Mr. Olympia or place third or fifth or whatever and make us a gajillion amount of money. We're just going to go ahead and cut him loose. Kind of like they did with Cody Montgomery. Uh, Cody Montgomery is really, you know, I think is going to be sort of a, a sort of a thorn in their side because... You know, three-time MPCT Nationals champion, you know, incredibly popular kid, signs, well, before that, incredibly popular kid, and then um, has a good supplement contract, and then they just cut him loose. What does he do? He gets another great supplement contract. He goes on to win his class in the overall, the MPC USA Championships. He's the youngest uh, IFB pro that I can think of in bodybuilding, 20 years old, Mr. USA Three-time team nationals champion going into the IFBB with so much buzz. My God, if this kid just picks like a rinky-dink, you know, ten thousand dollars show and wins that, wins his first pro show, and just does a few of those, you know, preparing for the Arnold Classic, wins the Arnold Classic, or places top five or top three in the Arnold Classic, goes to the Mister Olympia on his rookie year, 
This could be this year or next year. And places in the top 10. Uh, my gosh, could you imagine a top 10 Mr. Olympia that's like 21 or 22 years old? I mean, it's just like... So, MD, you know, really, really, really shot themselves in the foot on that one. And the good thing about Cody, and I think it'll be the same thing about Justin, is that, you know, these are consummate professionals. You know, they're not going to go out and hate on MD or talk shit. But, you know, the reality of it is, is that they really locked out. I mean, if Iron Man magazine, which has always been a magazine that I like, but you have to recognize they never had the budget of Flex for MD. If Iron Man magazine, who just went through mid-level management changes, went up to Justin Compton and said, listen, you know, um, we're, we're really pushing our magazine. John Bailey went over there and said, we're really pushing our magazine. We really want a new sort of, you know, kick in the ass. We really want to be reinvigorated. We want to sign you to an exclusivity contract. Because to my knowledge, Iron Man Magazine doesn't sign anyone's exclusivity contracts, you know, to publishing contracts like MD and Flex. And if Iron Man just went out to someone like Justin Compton or Cody Montgomery and said, look, you have a lot of promise. You've got a great physique. You work your ass off. We want you to work your ass off for Iron Man Magazine, or we want you to work your ass off for Muscle Mag, or we want you to work your ass off for Planet Muscle. And they actually did that. Then I got to tell you something. Those magazines would have a total, total uh, renaissance and would sell like crazy, as well as their website. So we get hits galore. The reality of it is, is that Justin and Cody, they don't need MD. MD needs Justin's and Cody's. And unfortunately, they they just don't have the long term sort of the long term goal at hand. They all they can seem to see is what's right around them, like temporally, what's right around them. And that's very short sighted, I have to say. I don't know if it's you know Steve Blackman or Steve Blackman and his wife, or if it's Adina, or who really makes the ultimate decision or who gets to you know, who talks to them, you know, if there's a big powwow or whatever, if there's a big meeting, I don't know. Um but you know, I I, I I would imagine if Steve Blackman asked someone like Ron Harris or Peter McGuff, what should we do with Justin Compton? Them being the amazing writers that they are and the learned writers that they are and the uh, well-read and worldly writers that they are and who have seen so many eras of bodybuilding, they would have said, you know, Steve, uh, these guys are like major, major future stars. You know, we should probably cut Victor Martinez before we cut Justin Compton or Cody Montgomery. You know, we should probably, you know, cut him first. Not to say that Victor deserves to be cut, but I mean, as a businessman, as a businessman, if I was presented with Victor Martinez, who honestly is really headed towards retirement. I mean, let's be honest, even Dexter Jackson, who I, I think the world of, but come on, in his late 40s. And then I look at Justin Compton, or I look at 20-year-old Cody Montgomery. And, you know, as a businessman, I think it's pretty obvious who I would cut and who I would keep. You know, long, long-standing long loyalties aside, I mean, if we are really talking about running a business. And I got, I got to be honest with you. I mean, I thought when they dropped Cody Montgomery that that was like the most stupid, I mean, just dumbest possible thing they could have done. Everybody knew that this kid was going to turn pro. Everybody knew it. I mean, I, there's not a doubt in my mind. I mean, look at look at me like two years ago, a year ago, whatever. There was never a doubt in my mind. That's why that when he got dropped from MD, I couldn't get to him fast enough to get that interview on strengthaddicts.com with Cody Montgomery. It was it was an email-based interview, but hey, it was an interview, and I, I enjoyed it, and it was great to have it. It was great to have him on my page. It was an honor to have him on my page because he's going to be a Mr. Olympia. He's going to be an Arnold Classic winner. He's going to be a phenomenal ambassador for the sport of bodybuilding. But before any of those things happen, Justin Compton will probably get there first just because Justin's been in the game a little longer and Justin's closer to that level. But Cody will be there very, very shortly thereafter. And the fact that both of these amazing bodybuilders have been dropped from muscular development is, 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 is just, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, I wish that Steve Blackman would just take a you know take a step back and let Ron Harris and Peter McGuff and people like that run the bodybuilding magazine. You know, you know, actual bodybuilding like you know journalists and and people that really know bodybuilding. Because Steve Blackman, honestly, with all due respect, I've not met you before. I would love to meet you. I think, you know, you've done a lot of good stuff. But honestly, you don't know bodybuilding. You, you, you don't. I mean, how could you, how, honestly, how could you drop someone that just took third at the Arnold? I mean, how could you do that? 
it, 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 how could you do that?